Hi guys, hope you're doing well. Um, basically, right now I'm working on two, three, two, four uh, e-commerce projects. And whenever I learn something new or whenever I implement some new concept in my websites, uh, my first priority is to share it with you people so that it can be also it can also be helpful for those who are searching for the same topics. Um, so uh, one thing which I want to I mentioned here that uh, uh, whenever you search about my uh, whenever you search uh, uh, in my channel, uh, you can find some uh, you can find videos which are very rarely present on the internet and this is because uh, it's uh, i produce these videos um, after a combination of uh, after a lot of effort by combining some built in functions of webflow along with some custom code and then reproduce this result so uh, for the motivation i just humble request that please do share subscribe and like my channel uh, so now move to the main topic of today's video uh, so uh, you can see this is basically e-commerce website and uh, today lecture is about searching uh, uh, searching your products from other pages for example uh, you if you are familiar with the finsuite filter system then you know that finsuite uh, offers you to uh, or allow you to search on page searching but i want to search uh, from different pages of my site for example i have five to six pages of my site for example i have this home page then i have about page i have blog page and i have all these subcategories and i want to search my products from any of these pages for example I, right now i am on my home page and from the home page i want to search my products let's suppose i have some cards i have some mugs i have some home decoration type things or I have some uh, things uh, related to different occasions like diwali like ramzan like eid so uh, let's suppose i have some uh, mugs on my um, site i want to search the mugs so you just type these mugs and you can find uh, that a lot of products uh, having the mugs uh, will be appear uh, on my screen and uh, basically I, I search this uh, from my home page for example now i'm on my about page you can see this is my about page and uh, when I am uh, when the user is on about page, user want to search some uh, things or uh, user want to search about my products. Uh, what are the products different products? Let's suppose um, he want to search about the cards. So I just uh, enter the card and search it, and you can see uh, the products related to the cards will appear uh, on the screen. And similarly, let's suppose uh, the user was on the blog page. This is my blog page, and user want to search some different thing. For example, for related to some uh, home type things, and he click just uh, home, and then you can see uh, that all the products um, with the category or with the name of home related to the home decoration will be appear on my screen so basically this is the example of the searching from some other pages uh, like from the home page from the blog page from the about page so I, i'm uh, what i'm saying that you can search your products from other pages too um, so let's move to the webflow how i achieve this result so basically uh, let's move first of all let's move to the structure and then to the custom code which i implementing uh, implemented here uh, so maybe i split this video in two parts uh, i will try to cover it in one but uh, maybe I, sp uh, I want to split it uh, i will split it into two parts so basically let's move to the structure so they, basically this is the main page this is the main cms page in which all the products lie for example these are the products now uh, these are the products and this is the structure basically this is the name of product then uh, there are some categories and there are some subcategories on this page so all of the um, search you can see uh, you can say that all of the search type things uh, for example user can search through name user can search through category user can search through subcategories so all of these things are present on my guest page uh, so um, this is uh, basically uh, my list of all the products which are displaying on my screen so let's uh, move to the uh, search side so you can see here is uh, the search so uh, uh, what I'm doing, I, this is the search input, and you can see this is the input form of uh, input field of my form. So uh, the number one step is about the name of this search field and about the um, ID of this search. So be careful about the ID because it will be used in my custom code. So uh, the first step is uh, just uh, uh, put some ID or just assign some ID to this uh, input value to this input field, and then. Uh, be, uh, you, uh, if you are familiar with the query parameters, it's a very uh, good concept, it's a very cool concept uh, through which uh, which I am using in my this uh, project to implement this my concept of uh, 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 page searching. So let's move to the uh, Webflow custom code. So I implement this code in my site setting because I want to implement it all, all on all pages. So I just put this custom code in uh, my pay, uh, uh, site setting. So in site setting, you can see this is just a few lines of 14 lines of code. And I will again provide this code in my comment box. And you can just copy and paste this. So basically, be careful about the uh, uh, ID. So basically, this is the same ID which I put in my search input field. So uh, what this code is doing, basically, this uh, code is saying that this code is uh, uh, just capturing the data from the search element. 
and then according to the search element data it is just uh, creating the query parameter so uh, okay the second main thing is about the query parameter about the query parameter be careful about uh, this part which i am going to highlight it with the name of products so basically what is this product this product is a page where i uh, put all of the all the list of my cms all the list of my products or all the list of my uh, items which i want to search to by the user so um, again be careful about this id this id is basically the id of uh, a search field and be careful about the name of this page uh, which is the uh, name of my uh, page in which all the items uh, rely so let's move to the designer again so that i can uh, again explain these two things uh, again again explain this the id part and the um, page part uh, so that you uh, will not be confused about these two things so let just a second just open let it to open yes okay okay so again i'm going to explain that this basically the search id is this one which i implemented to this phase so this is basically the search item and then just i create the navbar with uh, some uh, component i create the component of this navbar and i implement the same network all pages so it will be implemented automatically to all other pages and now what about the that product part so you can be careful about this page so this is the page and this is the name of this page on which i just place all my data which i want to be searched by my user so basically this is the main page which will be used in my custom code too so this is the page with the name of products in which all of the products uh, along with all the things which i want to be searched by my user like uh, i want to um, use a search with the name of um, with the name of uh, this uh, product with the category of this product with the subcategory of this the product and be careful that these all things are coming from the product cms so basically this name is coming from the product cms this category is coming from the product cms this um, subcategory is coming from the uh, cms and internally i implemented what i implemented i implemented fin suite filtering system so basically the fin suite filtering system is implemented on this uh, on this list and then uh, page uh, searching from other pages is implemented through this custom code so on page searching is uh, the same thing which uh, is implemented by the fin suite and if you're not familiar with the fin suite let me know i will make a video uh, for you people on the fin suite filtering system so basically the first part is to apply the fin suite filtering system and you can uh, know that there are some uh, custom attributes for the fin suite filtering system so which i implemented on this list you can see on the uh, setting panel uh, on the right of this page in the setting panel and uh, then i implemented some uh, custom fields like fs filter field name uh, on this one then uh, on the price tag then on the uh, sub categories on the categories like this one you can see in the setting panel that i implemented some um, uh, uh, some attributes so these attributes uh, are uh, again um, uh, uh, is by the fin suite is coming from the fin suite filtering system so basically implemented fin suite filtering system on this list and after implementing fin suite filtering system on this uh, list uh, i just implementing this code uh, which is generating the query um, so be careful about the two things one is about the id of this search element and other one is the name of this product so that your query can be generated accordingly i will provide the uh, code which is present in my page uh, on my page and my comment box and uh, you can just copy and paste and you can uh, then uh, read out the code and you will uh, understand the concept that what's actually the code is doing so that code is actually generating the queries that is um, generating the queries for example in my um, search bar when i uh, uh, write the mug so basically what that code is doing that code is uh, generating uh, the this query that code is generating this this query and now you can um, uh, hope you uh, hope you are getting my point that this is the name of my page and then this is the code which is generated by my code this this is whole url which is generated by my code with the name of mug again for example i when i just paste home when i write home then you can know this is the query which is generated by my code and that's why uh, this all search is appearing on the page so hope uh, you uh, hope you get my concept hope uh, you are now getting the point hope you like the concept hope you like the video and still if there is any type of confusion or any type of uh, uh, query for this concept so please let me know in my comment box and i will be uh, i will further be available for your help thank you please do subscribe share and like my channel thank you